Hi everyone. Welcome to my Tiktra Career Advice section of YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about what could be the best course to choose for someone who has a year gap. In fact, we are into the training business for a long time. Uh, we meet a uh, lot of people from different background. We do lot of we do meet a lot of people uh, who are want to jump start their career into IT, but they are not recent passed out, not like 2018 or 2019 passed out. They are passed out in 16, 17, somebody in 14. In fact, even we meet candidates from 2010, 11. So they really want to jump into IT right now. The they all come up with the questions. You know, what could be the right course? I have to choose because whatever course I have here when I have passed out of engineering so those courses are not more not popular right now so we have various courses in front of us and again so the question is do you want to jump start your career again as a fresher will the industry will accept you as a fresher even though you are about 2012 or 14 15 passed out so we have you no know, few recommendations for those who want to know which could which could be the best course to choose. So if you are interested to jumpstart as a programmer, we recommend something going with Python rather than the traditional technologies like Java or .NET or PHP or Ruby. So today Python is widely used programming language even though it is older than Java it is, but it's been picked up since last few years and today most of the trending technology they use Python as a preferred language including artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science, IoT, in fact there are many areas. So Python could be one of the best options with Python you could choose a specific job profile either you want to become a python developer you can choose python django mysql rest api in fact you can watch my previous videos uh, what is the best course to choose in python and uh, or you can go for python machine learning ai that could be one of the best options or you can go for python and data science or you can go for Python and IoT. This could be one of the best options if you want to choose Python as a programming language. So among, among this, I suggest to go for Python Django or Python AIML. So these technologies, there are a lot of job is coming. In fact, it's already there and the job is growing day by day. So if you choose these technologies, there are chances that you can easily jump into this. So again the question is, can I get into as a fresher even though I am 2012 passed out? Of course there are opportunities, I am not saying you cannot get in, I mean there are opportunities if you want to you know, jump start as a python developer even though you are uh, passed out a you know, uh, few years back. Because these technologies there are a lot of job requirement, companies look at the skilled people rather than the passed out. Of course many companies look at you know, recent passed out people and because the number of jobs is more than the kind of skills available in the market. So that's where an opportunity for you still you can jump start as a pressure. I can say about you have about 50% chances. And uh, you know uh, normally people who want to jump into IT who are coming from a different background or who never been in the industry uh, normally if you look at they all put some experience I'm not a fan of suggesting you uh, fix fake experience but many people do it I mean in case if you are you want to convert your existing experience as a, into a technology experience maybe a year or two still you can do that and jump in you know to this particular technologies so this Python could be one of the best options and uh, someone says um, no, I, I don't want to get into programming, you know, because I will not keep in touch, it's long back. Uh, still, Python could be the best option, because Python, uh, 
is one of the easiest programming language to learn. Uh, it's a scripting language. Of course, it's even though it's a scripting language, it's powerful as Java today. It is used everywhere. And still you say, no, no, I don't want to get into programming. You can choose something non-programming courses. Uh, one thing you have to be very clear in IT, you cannot sustain in IT uh, for a long term without touching a programming. Because today, traditionally, if you look at software testing, people want to jump into software testing. Uh, wherein they don't want to get into programming. Today, the entire software testing become a kind of automation. So when you say automation, you have to use programming. When you talk about hardware or IT infrastructure like the networking, server administrator, storage, and uh, even desktop engineer. Uh, so today, some, some way or other way, you have to use scripting language because there are also a lot of automation efforts. It means you have to learn programming. Uh, there is no choice you can sustain in IT for a long time without a programming. Um, uh, yeah, it still says, somebody says, no, I don't want to touch programming, but I, I may use you know, beta programming, but I don't want to become a full-time you know, programmer. Then cloud could be one of the best options. Uh, so I hope all of you hear about cloud computing. So cloud computing, it's again, it's infrastructure, it's a cloud infrastructure. So that could be one of the best options. Specifically, you can choose Amazon Web Services. Uh, in AWS, we have multiple courses. We are going to discuss in detail in a different videos. And Azure, Microsoft Azure could be one of the best options if you want to become a uh, cloud engineer. And um, you have something called RPA, Robotic Process Automation, which is one of the most trending technology right now in IT. Trust me, this technology you want every company wants to adopt in the coming days because RPA means real cost saving for the business. So what typically RPA is used? I mean, so RPA is used to automate whatever we manually do. Uh, RPA does an automation. So system takes over uh, and human a human being so so many companies are interested you know to cut the cost i mean no so repetitive work they can do through rpa I mean, so that could be one of the best course in rpa the recommended course are ui path blue prism or automation anywhere uh, probably i mean, you know uh, so custom auto you know custom automation what we call it is python using um, you know python uh, for automation that also which is one of the most happening areas still you don't want to get into coding you can choose this any of this tool so rpa could be one of the best option for you and uh, we do have courses uh, bi i you know business intelligence um, so so over the period what happens uh, you know today in it the company is looking for a multiple skill sets. Uh, uh, when we started our IT career, I don't know if I'm in a technology, at least I can sustain in the same technology for about five to six years. Today, the company looks for multiple skill sets. So uh, today, I don't call it as BI as a separate, uh, you know, your job role. You can sustain for a long time. Today, BI become a kind of secondary uh, skill sets. So really still you want to jumpstart something BI skill sets, which is a non-coding. You might have to use some kind of SQL. So tab view could be one of the best options. And uh, yeah, tab view uh, could be one of the best option. And, and somebody looking for a database courses, still we suggest, uh, we don't recommend right now technology like Oracle, uh, Oracle database, or uh, MySQL developer. Uh, so today the trend has changed. I mean, the industry been, you know, has adopted a you know, new kind of database. We call it as NoSQL database. Uh, still, uh, Cassandra uh, could be one of the best options. Couchbase could be one of the best options if you are looking for a database courses. Uh, so let me uh, wind up this video um, with the best recommended option because there are still you know, more options but uh, I don't rate them on top of what we discussed already. So if you are not a recent passed out, what we call it as a freshers, if you are not a freshers but you want to jump start into IT, uh, so my tetra recommended option is 
you can jump into python machine learning ai because everywhere artificial intelligence and machine learning and uh, so you can try as a fresher or you can try as an experience as well and uh, the second option could be you can jump into python development if you are interested towards programming uh, if you are not much interested in programming uh, probably you can go for a cloud computing uh, that could be one of the best option still i recommend rpa robotic process automation over cloud so i mean the best three options are you can choose python ai machine learning or python django developer and python developer or rpa these three courses anyone you can go for it so thank you for watching this videos uh, you can subscribe to our channel to get um, a more uh, career advice we are also bringing expert talk it will be very helpful for you, you know, for you if you have any questions uh, you can comment in this videos or uh, you can also reach out to our expert who can help you if you have any specific questions thank you